open the uh, the water inspection hatches just to take a quick look inside the tank and to our horror it was covered in mold. Now we've opened up a can of worms because we found that there's three inspection hatches in three different compartments of the water tank and to get to all three we've got to move the dishwasher from under here, we've got to remove the pan rack here and worst of all we've got to remove this freezer unit which is completely plumbed into the compressor and everything else and the screws everywhere, the screws under the pan rack, the screws under the floorboards, the screws on the side and there was even a couple of screws uh, fiberglassed in on this side next to the compressor. Now owls are quite unusual, they've got the water tanks actually housed in the keel here and it's in three parts but unluckily each part has got its own separate access hatch. All of the water is stored in this three part tank and the keel bolts actually fit in through the bottom of the tank. So finally we took all of the screws out and we still couldn't get it out but it turns out it's just so tightly jammed in we've had to revert a bit more brute force jimmy the whole thing up and it just popped out and so now we're going to remove the whole thing and see what horrors we got down below Every day we had to put things back so we could live on the boat and then take it apart again to clean out the tanks. And we used long scrubbers, mops and elbow grease and detergent to uh, really get rid of all of the mould um, before we felt that it was safe to use. The next thing to do is tee off the water pipe to put a fresh water tap in. But previous owners had uh, modified the plumbing system so we had a mixture of imperial and metric systems. Um, so it took some time to work out the relatively easy step of just teeing off a pipe. Okay, why are you changing them? Uh, well, I've got a, a double one. I've got a couple of single ones under there, and I want to use the single ones in the in the engine room. So I'm putting a double one in under the sink. So since then, we've replaced a single filter with a double filter. We've got a carbon filter on the left hand side and a five micro filter on the right hand side. I know a lot of people like to use a double filter before the water goes from the shore into the tanks, but. I'm kind of of the opinion that a little bit of chlorine in the tanks isn't a bad thing because it might hold that mould at bay and um, we don't have to replace the carbon filter as much because it's only filtering our drinking water and not um, tap water for washing up and showering and things like that. So it goes through the carbon filter, through the 5 micron filter and then up to the drinking water tap. No more bottled water and no more plastic bottles. Nice. <laughs>